So the Bears lost in overtime to the Minnesota Vikings. Ben, uh, open for him. Go ahead. This is the worst decision I've ever seen a coach make, and we've seen coaches make some terrible decisions. Mark Trestman fired today. No. Today, today, <laughs> today, today, today. That's incompetent. I will never in my life bet on the Bears as he's long as he's the coach. Ugh, you're ridiculous. No, Rick, you're ridiculous for not understanding this. I right. understand hold it. On, it hold was hold dumb. But Let's say that no, you're no, never no, going to no, 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 hold on. Okay, not only was it dumb, it belies his loser mentality, which totally. is even worse. Totally. It's because okay. this, 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 is, this is a mentality that infects the so entire explain team. Scenario. Explain what yeah. Yeah. So the, the, the Vikings uh, kick a game-winning field goal, but there's an Blair odd Walsh. face mask penalty against the Vikings on the kick. So it moves them back, and they run another play, and then Walsh misses a 57-yard field goal rather badly. So the Bears get the ball on their own 47-yard line with a chance to win in overtime. They do not throw the ball, even though the quarterback had a pretty good numbers day, although many of those were huge yards. So and Matt Forte, yeah, right, and Matt Forte. They ran yeah. the ball five straight times, maybe six, I think five, and they ran the ball from their own 47 down to the 29-yard line of the uh, Vikings to set up second and seven. The last run on first and 10 was a three-yard run. And on second down from the 29-yard line, they trot out Robbie Gold to kick a 47-yard field goal when you have two more plays to run. If this ball is at the nine-yard line, yeah, I, agree. Yeah. I understand it. I do. If it's in the right spot in the field, you don't need to run another play because you don't miss kicks from, 26, from 27 yards. For, as, and as great as kickers are, and as great as kickers are indoors, and we've talked about this, 47 yards is still a missable kick. Yes. And it was insane not to run two more plays. And it's insane to kick on third down when you're that far back. Even, you know, I get it. If you're inside the 20, different situation. But here, you have to run those plays, even if you get two yards. And by the way, four yards, and that field goal is almost certainly good. Okay, so, I mean, to your point, Ben, I want to pile on. Um, good. Matt Forte was just ripping off chunks of yardage. Yep. The last run was only three, but before that, there are runs of nine yards, six yards, yep. eight yards. And this is, an, this is deep into overtime against a very exhausted Minnesota defense. That's a whole other thing. Yeah. There were four minutes to play in overtime. Nobody any timeouts. You run those two plays, you take, you take two knees at the bare minimum. You at least minimize no. Minnesota's time the minimum. on the other side. Right. right? Yeah. So, but don't take a knee. Run the ball, or I know this is crazy. Pass have a quarterback who was 23 of 36 <laughs> for 340 yards. Throw a quick screen to Alshon Jeffrey or Brandon Marshall. You're two giant, talented receivers, yeah. which they do all the time. Yeah. There are safe passes. And he said, I didn't want to get a turnover or a penalty. So tell your guys, because he'd seen a penalty by the Vikings, a face mask on a kick, which is the first time I've seen that in my life, right? Yeah. It was a clear face mask. But like, so tell, so make sure you tell your guys, hey. No penalties. And you tell McCown, don't be in a position where, where you hold on to the ball for too long. Don't take a sack. Don't take a penalty. Drop back. If that little quick hitter is not there, if you're throwing a pass, throw, throw it away. away. Throw right. it away. That's loser, the end of that. Loser mentality. And if, you're, and if it turns into fourth and 10 from the 29, well, then bring Robbie Gold out and try a 47-yard okay. field goal. But so, no, wait until then. It's, it's, he, he will make, and, and let me be clear about why I'll never bet on the Bears again, not because that situation will ever replicate itself, mm -hmm. but because his head is filled with the kind of mentality that will have them screw up again and again and again I understand and again. that. So here's my uh, devil's advocate point. It was a dumb play. I completely agree with you guys. It only cost him the game it, it in the was, season. That's it. They would have yeah, been tied for yeah, first. Yeah, I now understand that. I understand that. Uh, <laughs> by the way, the Bears were going nowhere. Uh, they do not deserve to go to the playoffs, and they're a bad football team. Deserve so out of anything, so, so out of anything it is a microcosm of the, five, the type yeah. of team that they are this year. And out of anything, the reason McCown, in my opinion, has succeeded right now is because of the system that Tressman has put in with the Bears. Offensive coordinator. Yes. He, he is, he, well, offensive coordinator, they needed a coach. So they hired this guy who was an Hire offensive guru. And all, all they've had is how, defense. That's how all they've that had. that guy be a dumb coach? Look at him. He has glasses. <laughs> like you would have think the only reason the guy became so a coach was because he was right? smarter than you, you think he used to coach in Canada. You think he thought they only have three downs? Do you think he had like a little Canadian oh, moment where he was? Stop it. I'm not sure it was so unfathomably dumb. It was the dumbest thing I've Mike Smith wouldn't make that mistake. Not only was it dumb, it was so freaking cowardly. It was cowardly. It was, it was so gutless. weak. I can't believe it. Weak, it was weak. I'm so yeah. angry. What if he get a penalty? What if he get a holding call? What if he fumble? What if the ball's a chance to be intercepted? Yeah.